Governor Cuomo now seems to be changing his tune when it comes to the state's new bail reform law. It is a law that he pushed heavily for. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps shows us tonight, this all comes as the Buffalo Common Council voted on a resolution urging Albany to change this new law. Tuesday's Common Council meeting included a 15-minute discussion where each Common Council member shared their thoughts on New York's new bail reform law. I think the, the intent is right. I think that they're right there. I think we just need to fine-tune it a little bit. It's the law that went into effect on New Year's Day, changing how the courts deal with nonviolent crimes statewide. There's now no cash bail for those charged with misdemeanors and nonviolent crimes. Suspects go free until their court appearance. Council members Christopher Scanlon and Joel Farrelletto want change changes made to that specific part of the new law. I think a judge should have the ability to set bail on some of, some of the hate crimes and some of the vehicular crimes that have resulted in death. If any changes are made, that would have to come from the state. The Buffalo vote is non-binding, but both local lawmakers wanted to make sure state lawmakers know how they feel. And it was nice that we were able to have conversations about everything and eventually unanimously pass this as a council. The bail Bail reform law is one Governor Andrew Cuomo pushed for, but now even he admits the law needs to be tweaked. There's no doubt this is still a work in progress and there are other changes that have to be made. We're going to work on it because there are consequences that we have to adjust for. Rabbi Rachel Timoner is an activist downstate. She is one supporter who fought for this law and says it's just fine the way it is. I'm hoping that we're all going to rise up and defend bail reform, which was an essential step forward for our state. As of right now, there is no timetable for when the issue will be taken up again in Albany. In Buffalo, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.